So this pond here is a great example of what canvas backs typically look for for nesting ponds. The nesting cover here isn't real great, but it gives you a good idea of what they're looking for. These smaller wetlands are what they prefer. The larger ponds that you can see behind me are usually used for foraging, and then the canvas backs come into these smaller ponds to build their nests. And we don't really know why. Uh, it could be per perhaps to evade redhead parasitism or nest success is higher on these ponds. That's one of the questions that we're looking to answer this year. So one of the new things we're doing this year is we're marking the eggs and that's to keep things consistent among nest checks. Last year we'd show up for nest checks and it would appear that the species composition within the nest would change. However, without marking them, it was uncertain. Oftentimes redhead and canvasback eggs can look very similar and to people um, that maybe haven't seen a lot, it's difficult for them to determine which ones are the redhead eggs and which ones are the canvasback eggs. These two eggs are very similar in size, but just a little bit different in color. But by marking them, we can ensure that the next time someone comes to this nest, they know that this was a canvasback egg and this is a redhead egg. In addition to changes for 2016, we've upped the intensity of trail cameras at the nests. We replace the cards and batteries at every, every nest check and this is for multiple reasons, to so look at the evidence of parasitism in the nest and also to catch predation events as they occur. Um, it's really important to know what predators are getting at these nests if you want to try to impact survival through predator reduction. Um, one thing we try to keep in mind is where the sun's going to be throughout the day. If you get some really harsh backlighting on the nest, the photos don't typically turn out too well. And we'll place the camera about a meter away. Mm just about at water level. Gives you a nice view of, of what's going on, not only in the nest, but also around it, behind it, to the sides. Nothing to be seen here, just in a nice little muskrat mound now.